Hello and welcome back. I am Aliatic. We are here in Requiem HQM and this is episode 12 of this series. Uh, this week, today, what am I trying to say? Today I would like to make some better tools with Tinker's Construct. Um, you'll see in between episodes I made an Alumite pickaxe and an Alumite hammer. I decided uh, that these are probably going to be good enough for mining for the time being. I don't plan on doing manual mining forever and ever so these should be pretty good but what I really want to do today is I want to make a crossbow so in between episodes I went into the nether and I found some cobalt on some ardite and I've popped it in here to make some manulin which is the top tier metal for Tinker's Construct for those of you playing at home in case you didn't know um, and yeah my plan is to make a slimy manulin crossbow so that when I go into the nether I can take down you know blazers and guards a little bit more easily and get us some better resources so there's a little bit of a th different you know differently pronged attack uh, here because there's a few things I want to do because first thing is we have to make the crossbow body uh, then the second thing is we have to make the bolts and I was doing a little bit of reading and all that kind of stuff and it was suggested that the best kind of bolt you can use is a manual and core with a steel outer layer and there are a few ways that we can make steel in this pack there are like long-term ways there's um, blast furnace and all this kind of stuff that you can do but there's kind of a sneaky cheatery way where um, you can pop uh, stuff into an induction smelter and uh, and get steel that way so it's a little bit, bit blah, 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 try again it will be a bit faster if we do it that way but to do that we need to make an induction smelter so let's do that uh, we are going to need Invar. So in between episodes, I was cooking up some Invar. And then we're going to need a machine frame, which is just tin and glass. So I'm pretty sure I have all of that. Tin and we're going to need a fair bit of glass, I believe. We're going to need some gold. We're going to need some redstone. I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, odds are we're going to need some iron. So what do we have here? Okay. Uh, tin gear one of you and then click through for a machine frame one of you now these machines are upgradable uh, I'm not gonna bother upgrading it for the time being we're just gonna see what we can get away with now we need a bouquet uh, so I get a lovely bouquet and redstone reception coil that's fine too easy now the next thing we need is the invar so if we oh, on the thing if we head downstairs i slightly changed my setup because i realized when you have ore feeding into the sag mill here uh there is like 100 percent chance that it's going to drop what the actual ore is itself right but then there's actually little chances that it's going to drop other things and I realize that if these four slots are like full up because they can't push into the smelter for whatever reason um, we could be missing out on a bunch of cool drops so I have this middle chest here now you can see we got some shiny metal I don't know what kind of metal that came from because I didn't have any shiny metal that's just been a random drop from somewhere so that's pretty cool and that's going in here now I've set this to be all smelting so it's going to have furnace and alloys in there I kind of thought that maybe I would just leave it as a random chance so that when I come in here if by happenstance we have some you know alloys of some kind then maybe it'll be like a nice surprise and uh, maybe that's not a good idea maybe that will bite me in the butt but that's fine as you can see I have quite a lot of invar cooked up so we should be ready to go on this to get two invar gears and then we have an induction smelter. Ah, the one thing I did forget was to grab some... Oh, no, I can pop it there. I was going to say I was going to... I forgot to grab... Um, uh, um, 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 words, words. I forgot to grab a energy conduit. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, but that should fit there. So that's getting energy. That's delightful. And then to make iron, all we need is some pulverized charcoal I believe and some iron and Bob's your uncle so if we come in here uh, do to do, do an iron is that going to no maybe it wasn't pulverized charcoal um, 
steel and it was the railcraft steel and that is pulverized oh four pulverized charcoal to one iron ingot is that oh here we go here we go here we go okay so i'm gonna need probably uh some more pulverized charcoal by the looks of things but that's okay um i mean i don't know how much I need for the bolts. I don't know if I just need one ingot or what, but pretty sure that having some pulverized coal, no, pretty sure that having some, uh, what am I trying to say? Uh, steel on hand is going to be pretty good. Um, you can see I moved this back into the wall. It kind of means that I've broken the outside of my building, but that's cool. I think it's a little bit more out of the way now, so this is good. This is really fast, honestly. It's quite, uh, quite nifty, so that's good. So I'll let you cook up for a while. In the meantime, we can start making um, the actual uh, crossbow body that we need. So I've made some casts up um, while I was making stuff for my pickaxe and my hammer. So we have uh, the body cast here. So I'll pop that in there and make sure I've got my manulin. And I hope that I have enough for all of this. I'm not 100% sure on my maths because I'm not 100% sure what everything needs. So that's that good um i got some blue slime crystals prepared this, this is a little something i prepared earlier uh because i found out that apparently if you make the crossbow limb out of blue slime in particular uh that's a winner so that's good the other thing we need is tough binding pattern now one of the tips that i heard was where do, where do we have some uh was to make the binding out of paper now if you do that the durability here we go the durability goes way down which is not ideal necessarily but you get um uh, you get uh, like extra modifier slots which the importance of which will become clear shortly so hopefully this works uh -huh, we have, yep, you, that's good, beautiful. Um, what else do we need for the crossbow? Do, 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 do. Ah, we need crossbow string. Now, in my jaunts in the nether, I was attacked by many uh, flamey spiders, and uh, they gave me their flamey spider string. So, uh, you know, it was a bit of a trade. Uh, I took their life and they, oh, actually, I took their life and they gave me string. I guess they, they lost out both times there. So that's unfortunate. Oops, that's not the one I went to go. I went to go in here. Bow string, flame string, fiery bow string. Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Beaut. Oh, I just went, I, I just went Australian again, didn't I? Beaut. Uh, oh dear. Um, okay, so is that everything we need for the crossbow? So we go in here, we have binding, slimy thing, body, and thingy. Hey, hey, should we give it a name? Slime, crossbow, rideable, reinforced, um, slimy, death. Is that how you spell slimy? Yeah, slimy death. Woo, that's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, and then, right, what's next? So then we want to make the actual crossbow bolts, right? So you go in here. What we need to do is we need to make a rod cast. I'm pretty sure you just need like a regular, regular old tool rod. We will need aluminium. I almost had everything prepared. I was almost prepared, you guys. Um, I'm going to need some cobblestone. Uh, we are going to make a, here we are, tool rod, like a so. You can go back in there. I'll hold on to you. Um, you can go there and you are out of lava. I see. That is a bit of a pickle. I'm going to need to pop some more of you in there. Luckily, I have my wonderful handy lava tank right here. Um, pop a couple in there. That will be good. Uh, you can cook up. Yep. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, pop some stuff away in the meantime. Very good. Um, I've been wondering what we should do after this. So I want to get some good tools and all that kind of stuff. And then I'm wondering whether I might start getting a little bit magical. What do you guys think? Uh, that could be kind of fun, yeah? But we'll see how we go. Okay. Uh, aluminium brass making a tool rod beautiful 
And then we want to make an iron tool rod, right? Pop that in there. Grab you out. Uh, it will have gone down in here. Here's the tool rod here. That is good. Now, oh, wait. No, I didn't need to do that. Oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. Uh, derp. Derpy derp. Uh, what I actually meant to do was make a manulin tool rod. That's what I meant to do. Obvi obviously, duh. Uh, okay. Because then we have that. Right, good. Uh, we are also going to need fletching for our arrows. So I went and I uh, and I snippered one of the little um, slime thingies that we had over there. Slime thingy. Again, my words. It's so technical. Now we have fletching here, don't we? Uh, so pop in here and pop it like this. And we have fletching. Beautiful. Uh, and the rest of you can go over here. Nope. How about there? That sounds good. Okay, so now we just need the steel. So how is our steel going downstairs? What you got for me? You don't have... Oh, yeah, I'll put it into here. Ah, oh. huh. well, that's uh, it's pretty nifty. Um, I need some more... Just, I'm just going to grab this. Oops. wonder if I can jump on the charcoal. What do you think? Uh, yeah, I can. That's cool. How many jumps does it take? Mm, a few. Vaguely annoying. It's not necessarily what I want to be doing with my life right now. So that's alright. Grab you out of here. Grab you out of there. And instead... Oop, come down here. And put you... No. And put you like that. In here for the sag mill. Grab you out. Yes, good. Now, like I said last time, we're having a little bit of power issues because I'm going through this coal very fast. And I think that actually might be my last stack of coal, you guys. So that's not ideal. I am definitely going to have to sort the power stuff out sooner rather than later. Absolutement. As absolutement. Um, but that is not going to be a problem for right this second pop you in there so that's gonna give me one more but i think that oops that one might be enough to get us our bolts so hopefully this works fingers crossed this works otherwise you know yeah okay you're cooking are you going to be hot enough because sometimes the lava in the smeltery is not hot enough to actually cook the things that we need to cook four nuggets of manulin left that's actually kind of vaguely annoying is it, is it not? Is it not? Um, oh, fingers crossed so hard that that actually melts up. Uh, let's leave that alone for the time being. Um, we can chuck all that away. Do a slight little inventory clean while we wait. So how you been? What's been going on? Anything cool happening in, in your world? T um, tell me. I, I, I would love to know how things are. Um, really enjoying, uh, we've got, you know, a few new subscribers to the channel and that kind of stuff. Absolutely feeling the love, you guys. It's wonderful. Hey, we got it. Ha 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 ha. Okay, cool. So this is how you make a crossbow bolt. And I'm really hoping that I'm not going to stuff this up. So what you do is we made our tool rod. We pop the tool rod on the casting table and then we get another type of metal. In this case, steel, because that's what apparently is the best. And we pour the steel on top of the tool rod. And hopefully we have enough steel and fingers crossed. Yeah, we get manual and bolt. Hey, hey. So then we go over here and we want to make bolts. And that goes in here with the slimy thingy thing. And there we go. So we've got reinforced two. We get 263 bolts for our crossbow. So we just have to have them in um, our inventory. There we go. Right click the crossbow. And that's how long it takes to draw. So it's not super fast. See, see how that square kind of like uh, goes in? You can pick up your crossbow bolts too. But one of the fu fun things is that we can do now is that we can chuck a bunch of modifiers on it, right? Because we put our extra um, modifiers on here. So we should have room for it. Yeah, see, right. So now it's going to get redstone, which means it's going to get faster and faster and faster and faster. So I just have to stand here and do this a bunch of times. Uh, and I'll do that off camera because this is a little bit annoying. And I will be back.
So now this should be a little bit faster. Yeah, 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 I think that's a bit faster. And also I just put my bolt in a place that's pretty stupid because now I can't get it off the wall. Oh, well, I'll go and collect it. That's fine. Um, and then I think the other thing that we can do, there we go, uh, is we can put quartz on the bolts. Hopefully that is a thing that is true. And if we put quartz on the bolts, that will make them um, sharper and do more damage. So we will be get. see, we got two of 48. So what you're going to do is basically, well, what you can do. Oh, here we go. One modifier remaining. Does, would this tell me? Modifies remaining two. So I should be able to put other stuff on here. Now, I'm definitely not going to put quartz on the crossbow. That is not useful at all. I'm surprised that you can't put haste on again and again. I'm, I thought you could level up haste um, with the crossbow. But maybe that is not quite right. Um, or maybe I just need to do a little bit of research into it and figure out what I'm supposed to be doing a little bit more because it could be that I'm being... A little derpy. Now, I'm also not sure. Here we go. 44, 46, 48. Aha. So now I can keep putting quartz on and it's going to take it up to the next level. But for the time being, let's just stick with that. I don't have... Oh, I guess I do have a lot of um, a lot of redstone. Now, yeah, what I was going to say is I'm not 100% sure if redstone is any good for the... Um, for the crossbow bolts. I have a feeling that it's not. Does it work that way? No. Do you work that way? Oh yes, I got a little bit more. 3, 48, 49, 50. Aha, and I can take it up to the next level. So I'm gonna chuck a bunch of redstone on here because we've got a bunch of redstone and I'll see how much I can get on there and I'll be back. All right, I got a bunch of different levels on there. We got up to like 200 or something. So check this out. Check out how fast this is now. Down, down. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Uh, so the other thing with the, the bolts is that uh, you can collect, collect them, but obviously you're not going to be able to collect everything. This one huh, cheekily got stuck in the floor and I can't get it out. Uh, but it has durability. And the thing is that you have to repair it with the material that you made it from. Now, I actually don't know whether this means that the repair material for this is manulin or if it's steel. But we'll find out as we go along. Anyway... This is pretty cool because now I have a super awesome crossbow. How do you like that? Um, I don't know where that came from. Um, cool. So first mission accomplished of the day. Second mission is, this is actually turning out to be a freaking awesome uh, sword. And I have not had any problems with it at all. And seeing as I've got the ender, I was going to make a Tinker's, Con like an upgraded Tinker's Construct better sword. But actually, I think this is kind of fine. Uh, what I do need, though, is I need a better lumber axe and um, better little tools. Now, I found that king slime that was out camping, camping our base um uh, last episode and I took him down and in reward we got a king slime excavator so uh, I think I'll use that because the king, the slime stuff seems to be pretty good uh, so I think that's gonna make me pretty happy but we do need to upgrade our lumber axe now the question is what material are we going to make it out of we don't have enough manual and I have to say after traipsing around the uh, nether for a little while um there just wasn't a lot of cobalt. So what I'm thinking is maybe we'll make it out of Ardite, right? That's kind of the next level down or is cobalt, or, I don't know, it's good. Ardite is a little bit better than Alumite, so it's going to make a pretty good lumber axe. We've got a fair bit of it, so I think that that will be good. So first things first, we make sure our Ardite's in there, we got our thing, and we'll make that. Now what else do we need to make a thingy? We need a plate, tough thingy and a tough thingy. Ah, ah, my words. Now I did make an extra tough tool rod here, so that's fine. I think, um, what should we make the plate out of? I guess we could make it out of a bunch of different things, but maybe I'll just make it out of the iron just to make life a bit easier. I don't think that that's going to cost us too much. Yeah. Yeah, that'll be fine. And for funsies, I can't remember the exact maths on anything, but I think that this is not a bad um, way to go. We're going to make our tough binding out of netherrack. I think that that's all right. Base durability, handle modifier, mining speed, redstone. Yeah, 
yeah, I look, I'm not 100% sure. Tell me if I absolutely stuffed that up. But I think that that's not so bad. I really have to say, I know I said it before, like ages ago, but I really am missing the being able to um, upgrade your tools thing. Uh, I know that it got implemented in the core uh, core mod um in the newest um, version of Minecraft um, and up until then it's always been add-ons that let you do it but um, so I'm kind of looking forward to checking out some like 1.9 Minecraft or 1.10 and seeing it um, but anyway in the meantime I'm rambling a uh, little distracted here we go Ardite Broadhead oh, is that everything so we needed that and that and the tough thingy and the tough thingy hey hey Ardite Lumber Axe now, you may be wondering, why do you need such a good lumber axe, Alia? Well, I will tell you. Um, basically, I was thinking it might be fun to get into some Ars Magica next because if I am not mistaken, it's actually not a bad early level um, magic thing to get into because, you know, your magic levels up as you do and you kind of can make stuff and do stuff and blah, 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 blah. blah. Anyway, I found that, um, Ars Magica can can work really well or oh, sorry you, you need some witch wood logs to do well in arts magica but um the tools that i had up until now just weren't able to cut it down so uh we are now now i'm going to do something a little bit naughty i'm going to teleport us whoops that's not what i meant to do um because i found in my journeys i found this awesome where's the marker gone here we are this awesome witch wood forest check this out okay and please don't yell at me for like kind of cheating but check this out Never have I seen so many witchwood trees, right? It's kind of like weird and eerily beautiful, but not and kind of like bad. Like, what is this? Why is it a different color water? What is this li liquid? Who knows? But um, but this, now that we have a better lumber axe, we should be able to chop down to our heart's content. So I am going to collect some of this. Uh, and I will come back when um, I have stocked up on some supplies a little bit. See you in a sec. Okay, we're back, guys. I got a stack and a bit of witch wood, and I thought while I was being vaguely cheatery and teleporting us around, I thought, so we were over here just now in the witch wood forest, which is huge. And correct me if I'm wrong, but does that spread? Is that spreading? Does that keep getting bigger? Is this going to take over the whole world? Also, what is that big black thing? We should probably go check that out at some point. But while I'm doing this, I'm all the way over here because I found another village, and I thought I would quickly explore the village with you guys. I'm definitely going to grab uh, all of this just so we can make our chimney smeltery a bit bigger for no other reason than we can um, but uh, you don't need to be watch me do all of that um, uh, but I thought I'd see what else we've got we've got another we've got is this a rail craft room I think let's just pill for all of their stuff yeah because we are Viking scavengers. Uh, oh, creosote. That's going to be handy. Coal coat, also handy. Bits of rail. Okay, cool. Uh, rolling machine and a steam engine. I'm pretty sure that will be useful. What's in here? Nothing. Okay, what else can we take? Um, nothing useful in here. I was hoping that there'd be a bee guy, but I don't know if there is I'm kind of tempted to take down all of these bricks maybe i'll do that off camera just so we've got like some bricks for building stuff that would be really fun oh we have another steamed meat palace that's the name of my um if i ever start a takeaway shop i'm gonna call it the steamed meat palace is there anything up here no mm, yummy steamed meat now uh we have not gotten at all into flax beard stuff yet but i'm sure that this will come in handy eventually uh hmm okay already have a full inventory that is not ideal now maybe we don't need that um what else can i get rid of wooden ties no furnace i don't need no okay that's fine what are you um standard reinforced <laughs> let's get rid of the torches that's fine i'm not gonna do anything up um okay it's getting dark which is not ideal because we're gonna get zombies coming in and they're gonna eat everybody and then I'm gonna get blamed because it's like oh you brought your friends to town and they totally crushed our party and now they're now everyone's dead you know so people are so whingy now I thought I saw an immersive engineering hut over this way somewhere which is a totally useful where was it I'm sure I saw something around. I did have a little bit of an explore before I invited you guys to come join me um can you see it can you see it aha is that it over there yes 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 i found it you guys um yes 
look at this. This is going to have heaps of cool stuff. So these crates are cool because you can put stuff. Whoops, not that one. You can put stuff into, not that one either. Oh, goodness. You can put stuff into it. And then when you break the crate, it holds all of the stuff in there still. What's that? Engineer's overalls. Nah, I think that's super useful. Um, okay, you can go in like that. And then uh, we get a hatchet. And we can pick you up. Look at that. Cool, huh? Uh, what else we got in here? Mesh, another shader, treated stick, copper. That's totally useful. Awesome. Oh, bit of lag. Um, I'm absolutely going to strip this entire house because immersive engineering might be a really cool thing to get into soon. I know I know. I keep saying that about a lot of stuff, right? There And, oh, look, hammer. Hey, that's going to be useful. Uh, I know I keep saying that about a lot of stuff. Everything is useful, obviously. That's like the whole point of all of these mods, right? Um, but, you know, immersive engineering could give us some good power. And I was saying that power is a bit of a thing for us at the moment. Okay, look, that looks like everything. Uh, like I said, I'll come back and kind of strip all of this house down. Like that lantern's cool, right? Um, but I won't do it right this second. Um, I don't know if there's anything else particularly useful in the town I'm to I'm, I will come and raid it for all of its goods just little bits and bobs but I didn't want to do it without showing you first whoa what's happened over here oh now this place is interesting I found this in one of the other um oh my goodness there's somebody with a nameplate who are you oh you do not look like a fun guy um yeah I found this building in another in another village and it, it's made out of clay which is kind of cool because you know I mined it all and now I can build stuff out of that clay whoa creeper dang it oh dear um let's get in here but I don't know what all of this is this like I think these are build craft pipes but like what is it doing and why is there redstone everywhere and like what is it trying to tell me I don't know <clears throat> but anyway the point is <laughs> I'll um I will strip it all down we'll do all of that and we'll have a lovely time I'll see you back at base. You guys, I spotted an Enderman. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully I don't die too horribly. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I did this badly, didn't I? Oh, and now we've got a creeper. Come on, come at me. Come at me, brah. Yeah, where's he gone? Hope he doesn't run away. Come at me again. Yeah, come on. Yeah, I can take you. Woo. Uh, you are not helpful right now. Woo. Oh, yeah, take some damage. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, one more hit. Yeah, come on. Come back. Don't run away. Yes. Yes, so we got an ender pearl. Oh my goodness, that took forever. Did it not take forever? Ugh, lordy me. Uh, I've almost finished clearing out this tower too. That was a good night. See, look at it. It's just a shell of what it once was. Um, I really, I'm not entirely certain what I want to build with this, but I think that the clay will be useful to build with, right? That's kind of why I'm doing this, just because, um, you know, having pretty things to make pretty things with is always nice. Because like I said, I'm not always the best builder, um, but I'm going to try. I'm trying really hard with the uh, current kind of things. Oh, zombie, shush. You, you can go away. I'm going to put some stuff away. So yeah, I'm going to keep doing this. I'll clear everything out. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. And I'll come back when uh, we're all wrapped up. Okay, I am back. You can see we got quite a haul of very random stuff from the uh, village and it wasn't even done. Like there was still so much to grab, but I thought that that was enough for the time being. Now it's almost time to wrap up the episode, uh, but I thought quickly before I did that, let's uh, just get the very, very, very first bit of Ars Mag Magica going because then maybe I'll build us like a cool Ars Magica um penthouse to play in in between episodes and that'll give me something to do for the week so what we need to do is we need to make an Ars Magica book and the way you do that is you take an item frame you find some of this mystical water hey piggy I don't have anything that you want uh, you pop it above the water like so and then you take just a regular old book and you put it in the frame you put it in the frame and then look magic woo so pretty so then we have our magical book hooray look at this so there's going to be so much stuff for us to look at and go through and we're going to make spells that like shoot out from the palms of our hands and actually one of the reasons why i wanted to get into this is going to, we're going to make some cool armor because you can see i've taken quite a beating going through the nether and all that kind of stuff so we're going to make some really good armor and 
and have a bunch of fun and we'll see where that takes us. But anyway, uh, in the meantime, I think that that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for uh, watching me and joining me on this journey. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please share something with your friends if you're enjoying what you're seeing and you would like to see more. It is absolutely wonderful to see more subscribers adding themselves to the channel every week. I am so grateful for everybody. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.